Jason is a CSM administrator. He wants to set up cloud service management for incoming emails to create tickets in the system. He would also like to have email notifications sent from the cloud service management system to the users. Jason is not sure about the information that needs to be provided in the relevant fields during the inbound and outbound email configuration process. Let's go ahead and see how Jason can do this. Let us log in as the administrator. Click the Manage tab and then select Tools. Now, enter the text Slice Configuration in the search field. Select Slice Configuration to enable email functionality and set up Job Triggers. We will now configure the inbound email. Let's click the plus icon to configure a new inbound email connection. In the mailbox name, you can add a relevant name that you can identify easily. Next, enter the associated email address to which emails should be sent. Please note that, the domain portion of the email address will be filled in automatically depending upon the associated environment. Some of the sample email addresses you may have to use are shown on the screen. Set the protocol as IMAP. Don't enter information in the server name, username, and password fields. You can select No in the Leave Messages on Server field. You can use the Ticket Type field to select the type of ticket that you would like to create from the incoming email. If you select Service Request as Ticket Type, then any email sent to the specific associated email address will result in the creation of a service request in the system. Similarly in case you select Incident under the Ticket Type, the email sent to the specific email address will directly create an incident in the system. Finally, click the Save button. In case, if you don't enter the domain portion of the associated email address field, you will see this message. Let's click the OK button to acknowledge the message. There is a system-side script that gets updated with your newly configured email address. So, after successfully saving your configurations, you must wait for 5 minutes before testing the inbound emails. Now, the inbound email configuration is completed. Let's set up outbound emails for CSM. In the Slice configuration, select the Outbound Email tab. There are three mandatory fields, which are emphasized by using the red font. Enter localhost under Email Server or Host Name field. You can set the reply to display name field by a value of your choice. For example, if you set it to CA Service Desk, this will show up as the reply to name for all emails received from your CSM instance. You can now set the value of the reply to address field. This is the ID that will be seen on mails received from the CSM system. The CSM system will list all your inbound mail addresses here and you can select the relevant address. Finally, set the block outgoing emails option to no. If you set block outgoing emails to yes, then you need to enter the information in a redirect email address field. Doing this will block your emails from going to the real users and will instead send all emails from your CSM instance to the redirected email address only. This functionality is generally to be used during initial testing so that test emails do not go out to end users. Click on the Apply Changes button to save your outbound email configurations. Please note this point, for the outgoing emails to be delivered successfully you need a background job running. Without this job running, the emails will not be sent from the CSM system. To enable the relevant job, select the Job Trigger tab. Now, identify the Deliver Outbound Notifications Job Trigger and click the Enable link. Please note that, if you enable the job trigger and you do not see outgoing emails from CSM, it may be because the schedule of the trigger is not in your time zone. So you may need to create a job trigger in your time zone. I am sure you now understood the procedure to set up the inbound and outbound email configurations.